Remember when the only worthwhile pickups were the ones that cost tens of thousands of dollars? Well, those days are long gone. Now you've got tons of companies making amazing trucks for under 8K. Consider this new one from Toyota, which offers tons of practicality and affordability, coupled with a price tag that's going to leave you amazed. Here are all the new $8,000 pickup trucks that just got revealed. But before we get started, make sure to like this video and subscribe to Truck and Roll for more content like this. Starting off, it's the Toyota IMV0. Toyota is really trying to appeal to the everyday driver with this one. That's because just from the initial looks we've gotten of this truck, it's already starting to look like the king of practicality and affordability. How's that? Well, it's got a starting price of just $8,000. But somehow, even with such a low price tag, its design is totally unique and versatile, featuring flat glazing all around. From the windshield to the side and rear windows, this pickup is going for a straightforward look. And Honestly, it completely works. As for the bed, you can expect a flat bed, with options to add some side upgrades if you're in the mood for a little extra flair. Plus, depending on where you are, you might even score some optional anti-lock braking and airbags. So, is there a catch? Well, kinda. The thing is, with an $8,000 pickup like this, you'll have to give up on some of the fancier tech features found in other trucks. So the cabin layout is super basic with minimalist controls. Don't expect things like a touchscreen or automatic climate control. But don't worry, because standard air conditioning is here to keep you cool. These things shouldn't be a deal breaker for everyone, but if you're someone who can't live without these features, then this truck will definitely keep you wanting more. That said, what's under the hood will likely make up for the missing features. While some details are still unknown, rumors suggest it'll have a 2.0 liter, 139 horsepower four-cylinder gas engine paired with a five-speed manual transmission. And as far as the size is concerned, this can easily go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Toyota Tacoma. Measuring 18.4 feet long with a six-feet cargo bed, Toyota IMV0 impresses in that department. In short, with this pickup, Toyota's main goal is to go for people who want the usual reliability seen with their pickups, but don't really care for the extra flair and features that'd make the cost skyrocket otherwise. For just eight grand, there's no denying this pickup feels like it fits perfectly into a nice little niche. Will it eventually find a market? It's hard to say that just yet, but it's got enough going for it that the odds seem to be in its favor. But if you live in the US, there's another option you can consider, which in some ways might even be better. That's because up next, it's the Subaru Brat. Subaru has brought the Brat back, and honestly, longtime fans of it couldn't be more excited. That's because even the base model can't be ignored this time. It packs a punch with a 2.0 liter four cylinder box boxer engine, delivering a solid 180 horsepower and 200 pound-feet of torque. That's plenty for everyday use. But if you're after more power, the premium model's 2.4-liter turbocharged four-cylinder boxer engine offers a massive 250 horsepower and 270 pound-feet of torque. Subaru isn't just going for power, though. They're also planning a hybrid powertrain. This means you can expect a lot more fuel efficiency. Combine that with the all-wheel drive of the Subaru, and you're looking at a pickup that provides the best of both worlds. Now, some might question Subaru's decision to compete with the likes of Ford's Maverick and Hyundai's Santa Cruz, but with a towing capacity of around 2,500 pounds and a payload capacity of around 1,000 pounds for the base model alone, the Brat is more than capable of holding its own. A compact size is one thing, but when you've got a pickup that's delivering practicality, functionality, and power along with it, well, then you've not only got the curiosity of truck buyers, but also their attention, not to mention, with its off-road capability and durability, the Brat is a standout in the current compact market. Now, before you go out and place your order already, there's one flaw. The Brat is only available as a two-door option, but by opting for two doors, Subaru ensures a larger bed size, which is crucial for a powerful truck. It might not be everyone's first choice, but don't be surprised if the Brat starts winning over Maverick customers while Ford plays catch-up. Again, it might be a tad early to make any predictions, but the Brat is definitely one name that sparks enthusiasm from truck enthusiasts. That alone might be enough to tip the scales in its favor. That said, the competition is seriously tough when it comes to the pickup market nowadays. It's like every manufacturer is realizing these things don't need to cost tens of thousands of dollars, and instead, you can make a lot more money by making them more affordable, because GM is jumping onto this affordability trend too. The company is doing this with its all-new GM Montana. 
This was originally known as the Chevrolet Montana and is easily one of the best pickups we've seen in the compact scene. GM is ready to bring it back, and with how things are shaping up, it's bound to make a big splash. But why exactly did GM decide that the Montana needed to make a comeback in today's market? Well, with the recent trend of these companies shifting towards smaller trucks, the Montana felt like the perfect option to get people's attention. If you've been taking a look at how GM, under the leadership of Mary Barra, has been operating, you'll note that the company has one singular goal these days. This is to deliver what people want, without compromising on either quality or reliability. And so, the Montana is designed for those who want a balance of power, reliability, versatility, and efficiency. That's a lot to offer. But you're all probably wondering, can this pickup actually back all that talk up, especially considering how tough the competition already is in the market? The answer to that is a yes, but with some ifs. For one, it's certainly easy on the eyes, but only if you're fine with letting go of some of the more flashier details. In this way, it's a bit like a budget-friendly version to some other, more expensive trucks. But looks aside, let's talk a bit more about what you can find under the hood. The all-new Montana boasts a custom-calibrated 1.2-liter turbocharged engine, delivering 133 horsepower and 155 pound-feet of torque. You have a choice between a six-speed manual transmission for those who enjoy the feel of each gear shift and an automatic option for smooth driving. And speaking of smooth, the Montana's crew cab body deserves a mention. This thing truly shows Chevrolet's global design language with sleek lines that create an aerodynamic profile. The raised cargo bed is more than just practicality. Chevrolet is really making a bold statement with this, and longtime fans of their pickups will be all for it especially when you consider that the front end takes inspiration from the Chevy Blazer with a totally assertive look. The black plastic cladding adds a rugged touch, making this a great pickup for people who like adventure. Now, the top tier variants feature roof rails and a sport bar above the bed, making things even more stylish. With the multi-flex cargo bed, you get about 30 cubic feet of space. That's plenty and should be enough for most drivers. The pickup also offers tie-downs and dividers to keep your gear organized. Now, you're probably thinking that's a lot of stuff for just 8,000 bucks. And honestly, yeah, there's no denying this is a pretty good deal. But again, it's worth keeping in mind, this pickup isn't coming out in a vacuum. Along with GM, you've got Subaru and Toyota, all fighting for that place at the top of the affordable pickup market. The truth is, you really can't go wrong with any of these options. But of course, each of them comes with some limitations. At the end of the day, pickup enthusiasts will have to decide which of these trucks gives them the most for their money. While some compromises in the way of flashy appearances, and additional features will have to be accepted, those still don't come in the way of the practicality and affordability these pickups provide to their drivers. Anyway, if you want to check out some more content on trucks, make sure to click on this next video.